Hello, I'm Igor and welcome to my tech fan. A uh, few weeks ago, everyone contacted me if I want to do a review of their uh, Star One CD printer. And I looked at the specifications in the picture and I noticed that it's very similar to NLCV2 or Voxleba Kila, which I already did a review on this channel. And I thought that I'm afraid a little bit that uh, this video may be boring to my viewers because uh, similar CD printers are already presented. They said no problem, and uh, they have a new product, uh, dual color filaments, and they will send me uh, samples for it. Well, okay, I'm not really the guy who takes care of this kind of aesthetic, but uh, I have my boss who from time to time give me some orders to print uh, some figures for her, and uh, so I accepted. So I thought they will send me, I don't know, two spools, maybe one silk and one matte uh, filament, but they sent me this. Uh, these are all silk filaments. Uh, here I have eight uh, 250 gram uh, spools and one one kilogram spool, and they are all uh, silk filaments in dual color. These filaments, uh, during the manufacturing, combine uh, two colors into one filament. And the imagination is, if we print something, uh, from one side we will have one color, and from the other side the second color. As you can see, some of them are already open because I already started with the printing, but uh, they're all packed in this nice vacuum packaging with some silk again inside. Uh, on the spool we have the information about the printing temperature between 190 and 220 degrees Celsius. This one is, uh, what's this, pink and uh, green color. This one is already open, this is some kind of gold or yellow and uh, purple color. And this is one kilogram spool, which is in uh, blue and green color. This is gold and silver combination. Yellow and green. Red and blue. Well, this is not really red, but that's what it says here. Gold and copper. So this is the gold and copper, very nice color. Green and blue, well probably this is the same color like on this one kilogram spool. Uh, gold and purple filament. It would be good if these bags would be resealable. In that case, after the printing, I could place back the filament with this uh, silica gel inside. I could close it and protect it against the moisture. And it's time to start with the printing and I will start on NS3 S1, which has the direct drive extruder. Now I believe that it is important to insert it without twisting. We will see if the figure will be constantly one color from one side and the other from the other. And I got another order from my daughter to print another mini. When I started with the printing the yellow was from the back side but now it is almost from the front side, maybe from this angle. And it's visible on object too. As you can see, it started from this side with the green color. And here, when it had a lot of retraction, the filament twisted somehow. And now the yellow was from the front. So currently the orange is on the front side and this pink color is on the back side. And this is the final result, so this time it didn't twist here, so constantly the orange stay on the front side. And this pink color was on the back side. It will start with the printing with the blue on the back side.
progress of the printing is okay, but I can see several twists in the colors, but I will analyze this later when it's finished. Printing is finished, let's remove the objects and remove the supports. A little bit more string in here. And this is the result, very nice printing, only I had a few strings here on the top, but that was easy to remove it. But uh, this time the color was not so constant. I hope it's visible on the screen too. So here I have several color changes after maybe every 3 or 4 millimeters. And only after 30 millimeters the color stabilized, so I get constantly the blue color on the back side and the purple on the top. Is this actually a problem? Uh, well, that's something I cannot decide myself, but I just uh, want to present you the results. Well, with this uh, gold silver filament, I want to print something like this, some kind of cup. We will see how it looks like. And this is the final result, so this time it didn't twist, so from this side it is silver and from this side it is golden color. Now I'm printing the base with the same color. The base is almost finished and it looks like the filament didn't twist it. And as you can see I was lucky because it didn't twist it, so it is silver from this side and gold from this side and the transition was exactly from the side. But this is something which cannot be set easily. Everyone please don't cover the holes with the sticker. For my next printing I want to use this 1 kg filament and I want to print something uh, on the Bovden style printer and one of the longest which I have uh, is this Zafir Plus. So this has very big uh, twisting Bovden tube and we will see if uh, the filament will be uh, constant color or it will be twisted. Base. It's a vase printed in a vase mode. The object is printed, so from this side it is green and from this side it is blue and uh, it was printed even with this uh, very long uh, Bodden style extruder and uh, I cannot notice any kind of twisting of the filament during the printing. Well, actually now on the daylight I can see that some color had a little bit longer transition, for example this blue line here. but the bulk color stay on the same side. And now let's see all CD printed objects from this video. Another conclusions. Uh, first I thought it is very important to don't have a twisting of the filament so we constantly have one color from the one side and the other from the other. 
and uh, actually I asked my family what is their opinion, which one they like the best, and basically all of them vote for this, where we have uh, a little bit more uh, inconstancy uh, of the color from one side. So basically they told me that uh, until the transition is smooth and uh, nice, then they don't care about this. What's your opinion about this? Is it important for you to one color always to be from one side or it can be some small transitions between these colors? Well, a little bit different video. I don't really do this kind of aesthetic printing, but I hope you liked it and find it a little bit useful. Thank you for watching and happy printing.